G'day guys, there'll be more of that action later. We've just arrived at the Auckland Boat Show. We'll be here from Thursday through till Sunday. So if you're in Auckland, make sure to come down, say good day, check out the boat. Today though, we're gonna go through our rigging setup with Richard Bicknell from North Sales and Mr. Matt Bryant. So in order to go fast and have fun on Rapido, there is considerable riding moment involved. That generates a lot of load, and the boat has some of the best gear available to deal with these loads safely and efficiently. The 3DI sails are flown off of a Southern Spars carbon rotating wing mast. It's a very nice mast, super stiff, stiff section, and it has EC6 diamonds, which control the side to side bend and keep it in column. This thing is very stiff, as I said, it pretty much never bends. And all of that is tensioned by a hydraulic ram, which pushes on this titanium plate. As we jack the, the ram up, it tensions the diamonds. We get our rig tuned that way, and then put the shims in to take the pressure off the ram for sailing mode. Uh, it's a really great system. It's one of the best that I've seen for tensioning a rig of this nature. We also have Harkin um, deck gear, hardware for the main sheet here. The main halyard goes through a spin lock jammer, which is in a carbon housing built right into the rig. Very, very strong, lots of holding power. The rig also has carver halyard locks for the reacher and the staysail. This allows the sail to be hoisted, put on to lock, easing the halyard, reducing the chafe and the stretch, which then allows the tack purchase to be wound on to get very tight lufts and increase performance. There is also a self-tacking jib for the working jib or the solent as it's called in multi-hull terms. This is very easy to use. The halyard goes up the mast and then back to the helm station. It allows the helmsman to turn the boat without doing anything and the jib will simply tack from one side to the other. Reefing the Rapido utilizes the Carver Reef Hook System. The way this works is that as the mainsail is lowered and the reef line is tensioned, this hook then passes through a webbing loop that's on the back of the mainsail. When it engages, all of the tension is eased off of the reefing line and the loads are transferred through the hook through this Dyneema webbing strop that goes around the boom. This allows for long distance sailing at high loads with no worry of chafe or stretch on the reef line. Another great feature on the boat is the deck layout, which has a lot of the control lines leading aft to the helm station. In sailing mode, we would have the jib sheet loaded on one winch, the main sheet loaded on the other, ready to ease or trim if need be. We also have the jib furling line here in case you want to furl, the mass rotator controls, and the board up and down. All of this allows for very easy single and short-handed sailing. Richard Bicknell here from North Sales uh, on the mighty ship Romanza. Um, just, uh, you know, we've put a suit of sails on the boat. We've got a 3DI mainsail, 3DI furling jib, and we've got a uh, fractional code zero, which is a, a laminate sail. And uh, we've got a staysail, a panelled staysail as well, which is furling in a, on the inner forestay. Um, these sails are, you know, put our endurance product, which are, are, are really strong and tough, and uh, will handle anything the boat will give it and uh, really see the performance gains uh, when we go sailing today. Really looking forward to seeing how the boat goes. We've also got a, uh, a Jenica, that'll be uh, a furling Jenica which goes onto the masthead um, and that'll be um, an interesting one to see in the uh, lighter airs. 